Dear students, we are discussing the topic of divisional structures in multinational corporations. And within that, we are talking about the matrix organizational structure. In this topic, we are going to discuss the disadvantages and challenges that are present and inherent in a matrix organizational structure, particularly in uh, with respect to international uh, scenario. Matrix organizational structure, you know that it is uh, divided on two dimensions. And uh, accordingly, uh, if uh, there is a head of a product line, and then there is a head of an area division, then people who are working under both those managers, working under the headship of the product line manager and working under the headship of the area manager, both of those um, people are responsible for the working of that same particular unit. And therefore, that uh, creates a problem of uh, dual report reporting. Uh, it's always easier when people have to report to one person. Uh, that is the basic principle of line of command, but it is not the most effective one. It may be the most efficient one, but you know that in management, we have to make a balance between efficiency and effectiveness. So it is not the most effective one. A matrix organization structure is a lot more effective than a straight hierarchical structure. Therefore, because it is more effective than the efficiency which is lost in dual reporting is considered to be a uh, acceptable cost. All right, so, but that is one of the disadvantages that, they, uh, that dual reporting can cause conflict and confusion. Obviously, if your one boss is saying to the other side of the side and the other boss is saying to you will be totally confused that we have to do what So that means that a manager working under a matrix organizational structure would be uh, facing dual reporting. As you can see in this diagram, that uh, this manager over here with the blue dot is somebody who is reporting to area manager number two and product division B manager as well. So uh, this person is responsible for dual reporting to both these people. Another issue of a matrix organizational structure is that there could be many communication channels which can create information log jams. When you are reporting to multiple people and then there are multiple dimensions, multiple heads on one dimension, multiple heads on two dimension. So headquarters will be receiving information that is coming from a number of uh, different channels and that could actually create a little bit of inefficiency in how you are communicating. Uh, then there could be overlapping responsibilities and that can produce turf wars. Obviously, you know that in organizations, because human systems are there, there politics also happens there. So, in politics, when your turf, your domain, when it's not clear, if you're reporting on two places, so that means that because your two managers are human beings, उनको उनके अंदर tough wars create हो सकती हैं कि why this person is giving more attention to the other manager why he is not listening to me उसने उसकी बात मानी उसकी उसने मेरी बात नहीं मानी तो ये सब चीजें जो हैं ये tough wars create कर सकती हैं and it can also create loss of accountability because when you are reporting to two people तो आप कहेंगे कि मैंने उसको report कर दिया था तो मैंने इसको नहीं किया although possible हो सकता है कि आपको रिपोर्ट करना चाहिए था दूसरे वाले को सो लेकिन ये क्योंकि ऐसी सिचुएशन है जिसमें दो लोग रिस्पांसिबल हैं उसकी वजह से आपकी अकाउंटेबिलिटी जो है वो रिड्यूस हो जाती है देन अनदर इशू इज दैट डिस्टेंस लैंग्वेज टाइम एंड कल्चर बैरियर्स दैट मेक इट डिफिकल्ट फॉर मैनेजर्स टू रिजॉल्व कॉन्फ्लिक्ट एंड Uh, clarify confusion because you are working in an international context. Ho sakta hai ki aapka jo division ka manager hai wo 
if if your division is uh, let's say um middle east so if the division manager sits in saudi arabia and you are somewhere working in iran or uh, other middle eastern country and in that situation uh, to communicate on those distances is difficult uh, for in in an international context so ma- managing a matrix structure is e- easier in uh, in the domestic con- uh, context but it's difficult in the international context so how do you uh, overcome these challenges and uh, issues uh, for that your managers working in a matrix structure in the international context they must uh, uh, be more skilled than your domestic managers they must have more exposure they must know the business very well j- the general business it's not uh, not just important that they should know their area like if a, if a person is a finance manager or a marketing manager it's not it's not only necessary that they should be competent in their own areas but they should know the business very well uh, they should also have very good interpersonal skills well interpersonal skills are important in all contexts but it is much more important in the international context particularly if you are working in the matrix structure and then this person who is working in an international context must be able to deal with ambiguities uh, um, of responsibility and authority as we just talked about uh, matrix structure creating a situation of dual reporting loss of accountability and turf wars so that person must be so iski wajah se ambiguity create ho jati hai ambiguity ko Uh, जो है वो ओवरकम करने के लिए आपके मैनेजर्स जो हैं उनको इतना स्किल्ड और इतनी उनकी कैपेबिलिटीज um, जो हैं वो बाकी मैनेजर्स से डोमेस्टिक मैनेजर्स से बेहतर होनी चाहिए कि वो रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी और अथॉरिटी की एम्बिगटी को कंट्रोल कर सकें देन दे शुड हैव ट्रेनिंग फॉर प्रजेंटिंग आइडियाज इन ग्रुप्स बिकॉज यू नो दैट इन अ मेट्रिक्स कॉन्टेक्सट in a matrix structure you are reporting to a multiple number of people and you are working in a more integrated way you're not just limited to your own domain that okay this is the domain of finance or marketing or the domain of one product line or domain of one geographical area no it's a more integrated system so you should be able to present your ideas to people who are different from your line of work so you should be able to present your ideas in a group therefore uh, because of all these challenges hr planning in a matrix multinational is more critical than in a traditional organization so you have to be very much involved in the hr planning uh, process and you have to know where you have to place which person because responsibilities are mixed they are ambiguous so a person who is fit for that particular position must be hired over that position so hr planning is very much critical in uh, this context